today I would make you something called a Bitto Brescata. And a Bitto Brescata translates to a very bitto uh, latte with cinnamon syrup and some coffee that we're going to use for a very good little drink, or what's known as a breakfast drink. And today we're going to use two new cups to pour water in for you today. Now here is some, a very ancient cup from the early 1900s. It has trees on it and it has a snake going around the cup. The trees are very elevated because they have very good sense of bond and very branches and whatnot. And here is another one that is a, a cross between a grape and a blue tree. Now this was formed from a, like a bowl. It was, it's called a blue jay. And they decided to color the grapes raspberry and blue so it could be nice and tender. Here is another cup that we prepared ahead of time. This is a Mexican uh, celebration cup that says bull bulge. And bull bulge means like the bulge of like a forest and you're having like animals making music in the forest. So now we're going to pour the water into all three cups. Now I'm not going to add any cream to this because this is not a creamy drink. So pour a lot of water. Do you know, this cup here is small because of its size, but it can have a lot of water in it. I, I wanted to test it out to make sure it had enough water. Do you see, this looks like pee because it toned into pee. So now we're going to have our water and look like a little mug cup. And on the bottom you see like a little some cinnamon anxious and some very good like cinnamon brown stuff that we use today. And your fingers have to be wet for this because they have to be prepared to get wet because you can easily get your fingers wet. So now we're going to go to the Boombalita. I thought today I would make you something that goes in the tradition of waking up in the morning and going to work and then having a latte and then getting straight to work. So you wake up, have a latte, go to work, and then that's a great drink for work. So this is a walkable drink. You can drink this while you're um, doing your morning work. So this is a latte that we're going to use with some some nice flavoring, some cinnamon, some coffee, and some um, sticky maple syrup. Now let me give you a little two of our uh, ingredients before we start. So here is that syrup that I was talking to you about. It's a red cap, and we're going to use that for you today. Now, I don't like stickiness, and this is definitely um, not at my alley. It is sticky and disgusting. So, th these, this potion loves pancakes, this um, nice uh, uh, black skin potion. She's a lady, and she doesn't like any um, um, buttery um, delighting. And here is some butter and pancakes, and it can easily melt while you're making your pancakes. Now we're going to talk about the cinnamon. This is cinnamon. You can find this in the local spice market. And the flavor of the cinnamon, oh, it's packed. This is good for spiced apples. Yeah, I'm going to taste it. 
it's kind of dusty and kind of weary, and it can get in your tongue bad. But it's really good, and it's a good spice that's good for spiced apples. And it's not good to eat raw, but it can be good to eat cooked and something of with spiced apples. So I think I need a drink of water to get rid of that. Here is some beautiful coffee. And I thought this was going to be um, like the powder and it was going to be like a drink. Now this is not creamy, you see? No cream. This is this reminds me of when I was in fifth grade and I was doing coffee shop and this is one of the things we made. Coffee, we had cafe caramel, vanilla, we had all different flavors. But I think vanilla was my best. So now we're going to um start off by putting cinnamon in the bowl. I had that bad taste of cinnamon. So we're going to put the cinnamon in the bowl. And now we're going to shake it up in the air to get it all disposed. And it has to be a straight layer. Now we're going to add water to it. This color will not be pretty. It will not be pretty. Now, this color looks like disgusting puke. It is not good, but believe me, it will change once we add other ingredients. Now we're going to season it with some sugar. Because coffee is bitter and this is something that is sweet out of the mouth. So, look at that. That does not look pretty. See? That does not look pretty one bit. But, now we are going to add some syrup to it. And I got stickers. And it can happen when it comes to sticky ingredients. Now we're going to add some syrup syrup. Some nice sticky soap. We need enough to get rid of that disgusting smelly old kyle and change it. So soap can be really good and bees make it as good for bees as well as honey. Of course bees are honey aficionados. So now we're going to whisk it in. Soap is sticky. So whisk all the smelliness in with the delightfulness. So this smells like cinnamon, coffee, and syrup. So we want to mix this in with our um, evangelist. And we're going to add a lot of soap to this. Now it's kind of low, so now we're going to add some water to it. To make it high. This is like just a simple soup. Simple enough to end all series. So now we're going to whisk it in and you can see whole cinnamon cloves in there and it can happen going whatever we have to waffle with cinnamon. So it'll be bubbly, it'll have bubbles, but it will have a coffee flavor inside of it. Now we're going to test it. Moanings are very easy. This is why this is a great addition. And you know, for the sake of Chinese restaurants, and I know this looks like soy sauce. I was going to add soy sauce, but since my friend was using it, 
then I was cutting up the ball with, she was cutting up the ball for, for me. She had to um, uh, use it. I was going to use it for this, just I decided it would be wrong. It would be too much of a big stride. Now, this kind of looks like soy sauce, and that reminds me of a story where two people were going to a restaurant, and they were having trip to hell, hot and spicy, like orange chicken, and they could not take the heat. There was, there was family that liked mild. And if you're picky, then if you don't like the smell of something, and I know two people that are very particular, one doesn't like lamb, and the other just likes basics. She's pickier than me. Her name is Miss Annie, and the other lady is Miss, Miss Cindy, and she, bo they both are picky. And she does not like rainy snowflakes, Miss Cindy, so I try to teach her. Now we're going to add more water. And some pickle. So the pepple is going to absorb a very delicious, uh, beautiful thing. Now there's a difference because in the bowl it looks like brown. Right here it looks like, just like regular brown. It doesn't look like a lot of brown at all. Because this is a very good, mild, good thing. Now we have to make this really black and, and brown. Do you know, we're going to add some more cinnamon to this, but I have to remind you that when people think of cinnamon, oops, there it is, it got sticky, when people think of cinnamon, they think of cinnamon as a powder. But on New Scandinavian Cooking, they showed us whole cinnamon, cinnamon sticks. There's so many things with cinnamon, such as, um, put them in, um, uh, soup, you could, um, roast them. Your yeah, brown sugar would do good, make good for this too, but it would make it the color even more appealing. You know, brown sugar, the word brown sugar means baked sugar. So it's just regular sugar, like this, which is baked into something we call cinnamon. Speaking of cinnamon, we're going to add more cinnamon. Now, oh, this is an uncomfortable feeling because every morning I wake up and my hair is just like, just sweaty and hot. And this is good. Now this is like a pumpkin mix. This particular color, since I added so much cinnamon, looks like a coffee mix. It looks like a pumpkin pie mix even. But now we're going to add more water. This is so simple. Simpler than what we are used to. So add more water. And then we're going to add, whoops, it gets out of your show, some more cinnamon, more coffee. So coffee can be used for many sorts of things. It can be used for margaritas, it can be used for, now this is, looks like you put cake in it now, so it'll keep changing as we cut, put more of the mixture along. And I wish you could be here. It smells bitter and it smells sweet. It smells like a lamey pa, lamey pa, jerry up a lambi ve, lamba la, bit the ve. It's the song that goes along with it and it's really good and really beautiful. I like it. Now we're going to add salt to it. And in a few minutes, this is going to be ready. This is just simple. This is taking the easy way out. Now we're going to pull the rest of the coffee in, and before you do anything to it, you need to whisk it in. So this is like 
a chocolate pound cake mixture. Pound cake is really good. Look at this mixture. It's like black forest cake. This is like a mixture for black forest cake. And speaking of soy sauce, Hyacinth does not like soy sauce um, on the telephone. And you know, that reminds me of a story um, also about uh, soy sauce or um, whatever. This is something that uh, you grow into and you don't like. So, coconut shrimp. And last night I went to a Chinese buffet. I tried it and it was like just uh, packed with sweetness. And it is sweeter than any dessert you could ever find. So, it's good when you're like a little baby or a little kid. But as you get older, you start to say, you start to get this gold all of those um, mixtures. So, now you're going to add more pepper. Because this needs to be peppery. More sugar. And more syrup. Just a tad more syrup. And you don't need to whisk that. And more sugar. This is like, just like, the geo -trial. Now, this is great for Earth Day. And this is a great activity for Earth Day because this looks like a desert. This looks like um, dirt and wet. And it's not a good color because it looks like the desert. It will be a desert in your mouth, but it will taste so mishmashy and so good that you won't ever believe it. Now you're going to bring over your cups. Wait, no. Bring the sugar. I'll bring some syrup over. And move some of this over here so that we can get to our beautiful mixture. And you can break the whisk, it can crack up your computer if you like this. So now you bring over your three serving glasses. Now you want to put sugar. Cinnamon, or as my grandma pronounced it, cinnamon, or cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pronounce. So now you move your cinnamon around. Like I said, you put cinnamon in each glass. Be very careful to put just a little bit. Don't go over. And now you're going to take one of your glasses and scoop up your mixture. The glass will be dirty, but as I was telling you, not everything is spot on. It'll be heavy, and when I, believe me, when I was in coffee shop, that coffee was so heavy, and one time it was so hot, I just felt like I was going to drop it. So someone else had to carry it. Now, you have to wash your glasses, because it can easily go up the sides. So you can see the cinnamon and the uh, cinnamon. There we go again. And now we need to pull this out. And I'm trying very hard to hold on to it. Oh, good grief. Pull some of it out. You need to be very careful when it comes to... That's the only glass that I'm going to pull out. It's so full to the top with confidence and revolution. It has to be up the rims. So it can't be over the waves. waves. So there's a difference between over the waves and up the rims. Oh, we got a lot of cinnamon veil. People will be surprised how disgusting it looks. You can enjoy this with some whipped cream over the top. 
some, this is like, uh, you can find this in Lord Sandwich. You can, uh, you, pee, you walk, uh, drink it while you're going around the streets of Mercato. It is just beautiful. So that is how you do my very special latte for going to work but having an awesome work day. Cheers. And it will spill, but that's the trick with coffee. Cheers. And then here I see when it got so again, I'm through the asking roll. Wound.